hello and welcome to Kitten Up Kitten and today I am working on um, I Miss You from Mandy Manzano and I thought I would come on and share with you how I work on a bigger canvas. So this Mandy Manzano is a 55 by 76 centimetre canvas. Um, I have quite a narrow table and sometimes I will work on a little lap table in the front room as well. So larger canvases like this maybe would cause an issue. So here's what I do. If you look, you will see I've got a small, I'm just trying to do it so that you can see, I've got a small foam core in this end. So the end that I'm not working on, I roll up, I secure it with these large paper clips and then you haven't got to deal with the excess that will hang off my desk. Now on my desk when I am working if I have got the end hanging over towards me I will use a piece of pipe lagging which I put over the edges of the desk and this stops it um, from um, creasing where it goes over the edge of the desk because we don't want that either um, although poured glue is quite forgiving we don't want to take the risk of creating um, creases or bubbles in that glue um, I always work from top from right to left um, just because I find it easier I'm not putting my hand in the glue all the time but when I'm doing a bigger canvas like this it can be a little bit harder not too badly on this one but it can be a little bit harder to do that first sort of row or two so I turn my canvas round I will then work in this opposite corner like this and I use if I can just bring my canvas over like that so what I do is I get this as close to the edge as I need it I then use a couple of big clips and I literally just clip it to my desk this then makes it easier for me to work on this first row sometimes the first couple of rows it depends how I feel um, that's how I work with it so when you have then done um, when you started doing this you will then find that this is up that way now the reason I do this let me turn this back round because I will work on it the right way round for the benefit of filming if she doesn't drop everything she says um, so the reason I start in this top right corner is because I keep the excess rolled up down in my lap if I worked from the bottom up it would mean I would always have this part rolled up and hanging off the desk and I'm constantly moving so I would then run the risk of moving those drills and because it is better to roll with the drills out that would mean you're constantly brushing into stuff you've already done I don't want to do that once the drills are there I want them to stay there so um, I always work from this way up which is why if I turn it round, I do the first couple of rows and then I work on it normally. Hope that makes sense. So I just wanted to go through that today because I have been asked this question before. As you can see, um, I have just started this canvas. This canvas won the vote for my next round whip. And I'm super excited because I am a massive, I love Mandy Manzano's artwork. Um, some I love more than others, but um, this one in particular means quite a lot to me. Um, I've also ordered, I've got two new ones, well not two new canvases, I've got one new Mandy Manzano canvas and one older one come in because they mean something um, and I love her style of art artwork I love doing all the black first absolutely love it so I when I prep um, I usually put some washi tape around the edges just to cover that glue it also helps me keep my edges straighter um, this particular washi tape came with a diamond art club kit 
um, I just thought it was a nice tone. And then what I do is I make up the first two rows with cover papers. I prefer to work with cover papers and section that way. So as I take one piece off, I will straighten the two around it to make sure I've got a nice straight edge and I move the next one to the next row down. I'm not worried about it being neat at this point because I'm going to straighten them anyway. I then cut off the plastic because I don't like having the plastic hanging around. So I will, let me just straighten this out because I've, because it's folded over a bend, it's creased it. Um, I don't like the plastic, so I avoid sitting on the plastic. It makes my hands ache. Now, because I'm working this way up and because um, it's quite heavy and it wants to roll, um, having that rolled up section in my lap stops it moving because it's sitting on my knee. Um, it does still keep slipping, but I'm going to be adding stuff on here. So the things I'm going to be adding, I am adding my original trash drill cook pot. Um, I will be making some more of these. They will be going up on the Etsy shop, but not until the weekend. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get more of the resin done. I've neglected it quite a bit recently, um, just so that I can do a date where I put stuff up so that you guys are aware. I'm also using my whale cover minder. I have um, other sea creature animals and forest animals in these. Um, and they're not there for any reason other than they look pretty, <laughs> to be fair. Um, I do find, if I can get my magnet the right way round. Oh, let's hope these are better videos than the last two kidnapped ones, eh? There you go. Um, I do find that if I have a cover minder on, when I then put my pen down, I find that um, it stops it rolling because it just holds it there. Um, so I like that, it's useful. Um, anyway, this is what I'm using. So original trash drill cook pot, I am using my cover minder and I am also using my pen from Amazon. This did come with some metal bits and I have linked the item in the description box if you'd like to buy one. It is a beautiful chunky pen, really like it. So um, I have linked that below. I'm also using a 42 bottle um, storage case, all kitted up obviously. If you would like to see the kitten up of this particular project, please check out my other videos. So I'm gonna change this angle just so that we're zoomed in a little bit closer. Now I probably could have done this. Okay, so you're coming into a part done section because I mucked up the filming. Pure and simple. So I have just done the black outline. I'm gonna go back and discuss what I was discussing when I thought I was filming. Such an idiot. So, this is the Mandy Manzano, um, I Will Miss You. This was chosen by you guys in your voting for my next round canvas. I will quickly go through what I was um, discussing before I realised that we weren't filming. Um, so very quickly, an update. I am working today from 2 until 8, also tomorrow, which are extra shifts. Um, I uh, so I probably won't have a massive amount of time. So I thought I'd come on and phone. The, I'd come on and film the first whip on this canvas. I have just done this single placing. Let me grab my glasses as well because that might help. Um, um, so, um, yeah, I was just saying, you know, if you are new, I don't always get the chance to post up every day. Um, I don't always get the chance to film every day or even work on a diamond painting every day. Um, but when I do, I generally post them up quite quickly or I do three or four videos and then I stagger them out a bit. Um, 
if you are new if you've come here for the very first time i hope that you will stay please do like subscribe and just watch the videos that's how you're going to help me grow so i'm going to go for this um egg timer symbol and i'm just going to do this because it's in this corner here while i continue so i had gone into some details about um i have ordered some diamond paintings i have two orders come in from chinese companies so they may take two or three weeks to get here um, i have also got an order coming from diamond art club so that will probably arrive first um, this canvas is a mandy manzano and it is i miss you um, this will be a canvas that i display um, that's why I bought it and I did buy it quite early on I think I got it in a sale so I didn't pay full price I never pay full price for canvases um, but the reason that I've ordered from Diamond Art Club is because there is a new release that I really wanted I had £50 off my order because of um, points that I'd accrued so um, I decided to splash out on one of the Warner Brother canvases. That's all I'm going to say. So my plan was to go through some questions. Um, before I do, though, I want to answer a question from um, Penny at Kelb's Sparkles. Um, she has asked me to show how I load um, a pen with double sided tape she had tried it she said wow what a game changer but i was watching one of her videos the other day so hi penny um and she was struggling she said it didn't seem to be staying sticky she didn't know if she'd put enough in or not enough in um so penny number one you're not doing anything wrong um with just as with glue dots um it does take a little bit of time to get used to um, get used to loading the pen up and for it to stay in so I'm sure you're not doing anything wrong what I do I very often load my multi-placer and my single tip at the same time so I will put more than I need in here and then when I cut the excess off I then use that to load that bit now these ones are actually quite deep so they do have quite a bit in there and you will find as you're going on that the tape will push inside of the pen so here are my tips use more than you think you need cut off the excess and use it for there if you find that you're losing your sticky quite quickly pair of tweezers pull that out turn it over push it back in again it will last you a bit longer um, i'm not sure how long glue dots last for but with tape i would generally get at least one section if not two out of the same piece but i think it's personal preference now you also said penny that it was it had lost its pop so this lovely popping noise you get when you lay drills down you said you know you weren't hearing that anymore that is normal as the tape becomes less sticky you don't get the pop so um that is just so you're not doing anything wrong it does take some getting used to and some people honestly just prefer to use the wax there's nothing wrong with that if you are quite light-handed and you don't have a problem using the wax use the wax it's free it comes with it but i am a heavy presser and um, i spend so much time getting squished wax off my canvas i prefer not to use it um, for me i find tape much easier to use than glue dots um, the amount of time i would spend trying to get a glue dot to stay in my pen tip Oh, just bear with me, I've got someone at the door. Yeah, a couple of deliveries. It's my uh, husband's birthday on the 5th. So um, he had some, some cards and gifts appear. So what was I talking about? I don't remember. Yeah, so um, yeah, I doubt you're doing anything wrong. Um, I think it is just like with all things, it takes a little bit of practice. 
but for me it just works so much easier um, and I, I'm I just don't get the residue that I would get from using from using wax which I hate um, you will notice that I am using the step method when I am single placing on rounds as well as squares it works just as well for rounds um, it just works when I'm when I'm single placing I have no idea why I started single placing on this one I just did so um sticking with it so I'm just making sure I haven't got any more of that symbol anywhere which I do not um, so that's about it for updates really just I've got I've got diamond paintings coming there is one um, there is the review for the two storage containers up and there will be the first kitten up going up shortly the second one is ready to go I just need to edit it and upload it and then this one will go up so depending on when you are watching will depend on whether you've seen those kitchen up videos or not um, yeah the only time in my life that I've not enjoyed kitchen up especially on the first one and um, the second one wasn't as bad but still not ideal um, but yeah I'll give a chance for you guys all to see that before I give my opinions on my full opinions on the storage options loving loving the colors in this Mandy Manzano already I think it's the fact that she does such stunning artwork I mean it is just beautiful so um yeah you will always see one or two Mandy Manzano's in my stash um not all of them you know I'm not a religious person, so the um, the the more um, religious toned ones um, I wouldn't buy, but certainly there's there's a good few that I would. So um, keep your eyes peeled for those coming in. And it's just that mix of um, diamond painting and colouring in, you know, because she's got these black lines. I just feel. You know, get get the black in first and then fill in the colours around it. I love that. So without any more messing around, I'm going to go to questions. I just wanted to answer that from um, Penny first. Um, just because for me, sticky tape has been a massive help i don't even know the reason i ended up using double-sided tape was because i was using a glue dot in my single placer but i really struggled in a multi-placer and someone suggested it and me being me filled my multi-placer had um excess which i cut off and i didn't want to waste the excess so i, I stuck it in my single placer and now i just automatically refill both it works for me so um yeah keep keep trying penny you'll get there give yourself some time so let's go to questions i've got quite a few so i may not get them all answered on this whip and ramble in which case i will continue on my next for those of you that are new um i do answer questions on whips and rambles on the next one that i do um if i've seen your comment or i've replied to it um by type I will give you a thumbs up if I have seen your comment and replied on the next whip and ramble I will give you a love heart just so that you know which um, which video you need to watch next okay hope that helps um, so let's go to it so the first question was um, Sharon Wild Ball and um this was on my awful of canvas when i was voting on let me find a bit of paper because i can tick them off as i'm going then so i need a pen so literally there's there's no um there's no fancy footwork here with this i literally just give them a mark um so she 
said, oh, missed that one. Where have you gone? So my vote is for number one or number three. So Aries is number one, Soulmates is number three. If you are new here, please do go and check my um, last whip and ramble on my All For Love canvas where I have put up pictures of the next five canvases in the voting. They are as follows. Number one is Aries by Josephine Wall from Diamond Art Club. Number two is Mackenzie's Treasure, another Mandy Manzano, also from Diamond Art Club. Number three is Soulmates, which is by Raven Phelan, also Diamond Art Club. You seen a theme here, guys? <laughs> um, number four was Corgi Nights from Dreamer Designs. Love that canvas. There's something about a cheeky corgi butt that makes me smile. Um, and the last one, number five, is Winter Tree from Star Raw. And to um, vote on these, all you have to do is comment below the videos. As long as they come in before I finish the vote, um, they will be counted. Um, and you can vote for more than one. I do say vote for two max, but you'll you'll votes will be added they'll be ticked off on my little pad that i've got down here um as i go through the questions so thank you for your vote sharon she said your daughter is beautiful i'm glad she had a great prom thank you she did she had a fabulous prom um i don't think i've seen her smile that much in a long time um she really did and you know, kids nowadays, I know we can say kids can be cruel, and I think that is still very much the thing. But at her school in particular, they have been amazing. Nobody even batted an eyelid. Um, but she did look very pretty. She did look very much like my older daughter, um, which was nice. You know, now she's got a sister that she can help with makeup and stuff. So she had a fabulous time. Thank you so much for asking. I was a bit nervous, to be fair. But no, all went well. Um, so she is now enjoying being at home, playing on her game 24-7, <laughs> as they do. She does have um, a sixth form intake. Um, oh, missed some up here. Look, how did I miss that? Um, yeah, she goes in for two days to... Um, to try out sixth form um that's on monday and tuesday so although it's my husband's birthday on tuesday he will be at work so we will um give him gifts when he comes home um i actually think he's on a late shift so he probably won't get them until late that night because he works 10 till 10 so it's usually 11 o'clock before he even gets home but we'll see we'll see he'll get them one way or another we won't leave them out just checking i've got all of those so thank you sharon for your comment she also says i love your nails hope you had a wonderful weekend um i did i i was working so you know it is what it is um my nails sorely do need doing but i've not had a chance um as do my mum she's lost most of hers now so um, I need to make some time for that. But they do need doing. They're getting a tad long now. But thank you very much. I hope you had a wonderful weekend too. Thank you, as always, for your support. Um, okay, Tracy Owen. Tracy says, my vote is number one and number three. Um, so that's Aries and Soulmates. She said, have always loved your videos. Thank you, Tracy. Um I, I do try and offer the sort of thing that I usually like because, um, you know, lots of us watch all the same people. So we must be watching for a reason, right? It's just someone to diamond paint with, isn't it? But your vote has been counted. I have to say, um, both Aries and Soulmates. I mean, Aries is a huge canvas. You guys know this because you'll have seen the unboxing. Um, so it's a huge canvas. Um, uh, Soulmates was previous to me ordering Aries was probably the biggest one I had 
and I have had that. It was one of my first, very first orders from Diamond Art Club. So um, I'd be over the moon to do that, to do either of them really. I think with Aries, it will just take a bit of a while because it is a big painting. It is a square and it is very confetti. But, you know, it's in your hands. I will go with whatever you guys choose. So at the end of the day, you wouldn't vote for it if you didn't want to see it, right? Absolutely. So thank you for your vote. That has been counted. And thank you for your lovely comments. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, Joanne Fleming. Thank you for your kind comments on my heaven and earth design. Um, number one, thank you because you sent me some lovely pictures. Now, um, I did have somebody ask if I could show a picture of what um, the heaven and earth design will look like once it's finished. Um, Joanne very kindly sent me not only a photo of her finished one, but also a video. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, she has very kindly agreed that I can use that to show you the finished what the finished one should look like. Um, so I do intend to put that on my next video for the Heaven and Earth project um, with her kind permission. But it is a beautiful piece of art. I mean, it's stunning. Joanne's is actually the full size version, max color. So hers will be twice the size that mine will be. Um, and that's why I'm curious to try it. I wanted to see if the mini version came out as beautiful as the large version. Now, I won't be disappointed if it doesn't. You know, it is a challenge. I will enjoy doing it. I am using my spares. So I won't be disappointed. But I'm interested. Because lots of people will be put off doing artwork because of the size of the canvas especially when you are converting a cross stitch pattern um, so I wanted to try the mini to see if the mini versions of these paintings would be as good so I think it's an interesting experiment I will be happy anyway but um, definitely worth trying so I will thank you Joanne I will put your video and photo up on my next um, heaven and earth video which hopefully won't be too far away because I'd like to get another section done you know it all helps doesn't it you know bit at a time but um, you should be proud of yourself it's beautiful um, she also says I'd like to vote for faces of fairy so this was on the round voting um, I do see comments as they're coming in I don't you know I might not tick them to say I've read them but I do see them when they come in and I did add your vote onto the round canvas unfortunately um well not unfortunately for me because I love this canvas but this one was the one that that um won but thank you so much for voting because I do like doing it this way it makes me feel like you know I'm I'm involving you all in what I'm doing and that's hard when you're doing YouTube. It's hard to feel like the people you're filming for are involved. So um, it is important to me that you take part. And I appreciate it. So it did go on, unfortunately. This one was a... There was two that were a clear winner. Um, so this was the winner, obviously. Um, the one that was right behind it, I think. Let's have a look. Uh... Yeah, Faces of Fairy was one vote behind, unfortunately. Um, which I thought was kind of strange, being as it's a Christmas picture. But, you know, I will do whichever one you guys want me to do. So I'm going to do the Y, because that's the next colour that I've got in this section. Just need to find it. As always, with a brand new canvas, it takes me a little while to work out where everything is. But this is that beautiful red. It's like a, a dark pinky red, which is quite nice. Okay, so she also says, so she said, I'd like to vote for Faces of Fairy. She's so pretty. She is a very pretty girl, isn't she, on Faces of Fairy? And uh, my first one by 
Yasmin Beckett Griffiths as well. I don't think it'll be the last. I'm not usually a, 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 a faces person. That's the wrong drill. Let's not put that there. We need it to go there. But um, I, I did like that one. So um, I thought I'd give it a go. She also says Kat looks lovely in a photo and it's great to know she enjoyed her first prom. Thank you, Joanne. She did. She really did. I think it's um, I think prom is a rite of passage for lots of, of teenagers, regardless of their situation. Um, and especially when it's the end of their GCSEs and especially after the two years we've had, because, you know, they've been up against it. They've missed a lot of school a lot of school time so they've had to work i think that little bit harder for the gcsc so they they definitely deserved a nice a nice prom not like us in my day we got up an end of year school disco you know in the in the town hall dancing to eurasia <laughs> in all all my 80s glamour you know but there you go. Um, they deserve they deserve it. So thank you very much for your comments. I have, as always, given you your thumbs up and your um, and a like and a heart, so that you know that I've commented on it. But thank you. It's it's been really nice to see um, Dreamer's Little Tree completed. Because um, obviously Rebecca is still doing hers. So um, I do always watch those videos when she posts up. But it's interesting to see it. So thank you very much for sharing. Um, so. Right. Be quiet Alexa. Shipment is due to arrive today. Okay. Well that could be anything. I've ordered bits for my husband's birthday. So it could be those. So writing with Rose Wolf. Um, she commented on. Let me have a look. She commented on the awful love video as well. And this was the voting. My vote is for number one on square. And I don't know if I can do it, but I'd like to put a vote in for I miss you. Um, OK, so vote number one on square, which is Aries. Um, yes, you can. I did put your vote for I miss you on the next round because I didn't start it until yesterday and you commented five days ago so I did put your vote on. Um, she also says I enjoyed listening to you while working on the prowl from Treasure Studios Art. It's a surprise Christmas gift for my great aunt. Oh lovely. Hope you have a good day. Oh thank you for commenting. So your vote has been added on. Literally I will scroll through comments before I do the video to announce what the next one is and that way I get the most up to date so not all comments get in um but lots of them do so um yeah I did put it in and as you can see um I miss you I actually did win on that one um which I'm really pleased about it's a beautiful canvas right got one there let me just scroll make sure I haven't got any others a bit of a trick to um, get used to reading out comments and dot at the same time but I'm, get, I'm getting better at it definitely so thank you very much for your comments um, I'm guessing your name is is Rose so thank you very much I then had a comment from Gigi's creations she asked how she could vote um, I did actually reply physically to her and I've already answered that question already you literally just comment on the video where i'm voting and i will total your video up um so that one was answered so thank you gg's creations for commenting i have given you a thumbs up and a love heart um cheryl pollen um so cheryl pollen she commented on the square vote by which time no, because I did add it on. So I did add your vote on. So Cheryl says, Soulmates or Winter Tree? So that's another one for Soulmates, one for Winter Tree. So thank you for that. I forgot, I forgot to comment on last week's video, but my vote for the round is the dancer one. I did add it on because this was five days ago. So I did add it on. Um, so thank you for voting. Um, but yes, um, I usually count any votes that come in on that video when I announce what the next one is. So I'm going to do my Eva 
I always call this symbol lever because it reminds me of the robot from um, Wally or Walleye or Wally, whichever way you want to say it. Always reminds me of Eva because her eyes glowed up. So um, that's what I call it. So yes, I did put your vote on, Cheryl. Thank you very much. Um, I do like the dancer one. I do. And that is a, uh, I think it was a fan cells canvas. And that has literally, it is one of the very first ones I ever ordered. I think it came from fan cell. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Yeah, it did. Because they had a similar picture as... Um, the first picture you see when you go on their site. So, um, yeah, definitely was fan cells. So let me get the Eva eyes. Um, if you are new and you're watching this, no, I don't always single place. Um, I just chose two today. Don't know why. Because I can. So single place and it is. Actually, there's something very therapeutic about just dotting. Not worrying about whether they're lined up, not worrying about whether you've picked up enough, picked up too many, just dot and go. Gotta love that. And after the last two videos I filmed, I need it. And even the cock up on this one, you know, I literally thought I was recording, didn't, touched it to turn it off, but actually set it recording. So it was recording for the few minutes it took me to get dressed, helpfully. I didn't say at any point that I'm clever. So, you know, it is what it is. So thank you very much, Cheryl, for commenting. I have given you a like and a thumbs up. Maria Casar, she was commenting on the kitten up of Faces of Fairy. She said, hi, love watching the kitten up videos. Me too. You may not, however love the next two kitten up videos that go up because um yeah not the best that's all i'm gonna say i'll let you watch them um thanks for sharing enjoy your day thank you for commenting maria um you can tell by my name i love kitten up normally <laughs> it is my favorite thing i think it, it's the one thing that i've always enjoyed the most which is why I have so many kitted up all the time. I can't help myself. If they're, if a, something's empty, I've got to fill it. I just enjoy the organisation of it. Um, I'm also having to remember that I'm working the right way up for this video because um, generally I would work upside down on the first row. Um, I don't know, it's just habit. But for the reasons I said, it just makes it a little bit easier to reach. But for videoing... It's actually easier to work the right way up. But these colours are beautiful. I'm loving the oranges and the reds and the pinks all together. I am, as always, because we have two ABs in this one, I always do the ABs last. And because this is a fairly new, um, I've, I've recently reloaded um, my pen tips. I have been using a different pen for the ABs. I usually wait until the pop's gone. Once the tape has got to the point you don't hear the pop anymore, that's when I'll then use the same pen to do to place my ABs because I know it's not that sticky by that point. Don't want to be taking the the beautiful coating off your ABs. That would not be fun. Um, but this one is still super sticky. Um, and I did load this at the beginning of here. So we're on to my third section. Um, I am only using this pen for this canvas. Now, I did say I was doing that before. And um, yeah, that didn't work. I ended up using it for something else. So I couldn't judge how long we would get from the tape. So I'm going to try and do it this time. So I'm just going to use this pen for this canvas and see how long we go before I need to take the tape out and redo it. So thank you, for, Maria, for your comment. Kelly Ripper, with her lovely emojis, thank you, Kelly, and she says, I vote for soulmates. Um, so your vote has been added, Kelly. Thank you very much, as always. Uh, oh, where are we? 
Gigi's creation. So she did vote on the last two. So she actually voted for three. She voted for number two, Moon Goddess, number four and number five. Unfortunately, by that time, the vote had ended. But thank you. It wouldn't have made a difference. It would still have made this one top because this one was number five, I think. Was it four? Yeah, number five. So it, it would still have been this one. But thank you anyway, Gigi. At least now you know how to vote, which is great. And thank you for commenting. Uh, Sharon Wildboar again commenting on the giraffe. Um, another great video. Have a wonderful day, Sam. Oh, the same to you. Um, it's nice to have a little community, isn't it? where we all wish each other a great day. Um, I haven't had any terrible days, to be fair. I mean, I've been to work and it's not been too bad. I think since I was poorly, um, I think they've realised that it's probably pushing me a bit too much. And um, it's also made me aware that I need to remember I do have health issues. Um, I don't call them health problems because I won't let them be a problem for me. That's just my attitude. Um, so I do call them issues. But I do need to remember, I'm getting older. I'm not Wonder Woman. I cannot do everything. That's what I keep telling myself. So um, I need to remember that. And stop trying to do everything. And stop trying to solve every problem. Because I can't. Simple as that, I can't. I'm just going to tell you, I've got a little tiny bit of yellow trash don't know where that's come from it's probably going to sit in the end of my pen now i didn't want to put it back in the pot so um let's get rid of this color and i will go on to the next one so thank you sharon for another comment uh catherine blacharski she says i vote for aries or soulmates i love them both me too um, I think with Aries, obviously, because I wanted to have um, a Josephine Moore, I, I just feel like if there's one artist you should do a painting of at any one point, it should be Josephine Moore. Because um, they are a challenge. They are big. They are very confetti. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I think out of the two, I do prefer colour blocking, but I like a bit of confetti as well. I just get a bit overwhelmed when there's a lot of confetti so Aries is probably not the best choice but um you know I'm gonna go with it it's fine whatever you guys choose I'll be happy with she also said glad your daughter enjoyed her prom she looked lovely thank you I have um read all of your comments out to my daughter she is over the moon because um obviously she had a few fears that she wouldn't look right or that um you know she, she people would be horrible nobody did she's had some amazing comments so thank you it does mean a lot to all of us really so thank you so much for taking the time to comment um vilica she said hi sam so happy you chose the mandy manzano well i didn't choose it vilica you all did but I'm happy you did because I love my Mandy Manzano. I really do. She said, have fun with it. By the way, I have exactly the same pen I saw you working with. It's great, right? So we're talking about this one. It is. It's perfect, chunky. It's a lovely, lovely pen for what it cost. She also says, have you tried these budget companies already? New Homey and GBFKE. They have wonderful images too. Loved this video. Love Vilica in the Netherlands. Thank you, Vilica. I will take a look at those two companies. I have heard of GBFKE um, because I know Rebecca has had a few from there. Um, I will check them out. I, what I was doing was I was looking at the ads on Facebook and they are very misleading, I have to say. Um, so I will add them to my list. However, scenes as I currently have 13, yes, you heard me correctly, 13 diamond paintings en route. 
I may need to leave it a couple of months before I order any more. Otherwise, my husband could potentially divorce me. Or he may make me move out because of the room they're taking up. <laughs> so I'll probably need to hold off. The problem with me is I can't buy one diamond painting. Like, if it's a more expensive company, when I bought from Dreamer Designs, when I bought from um, Diamond Art Studio, I ordered two. Um, Dreamer Designs, I ordered one of each. Um, Star All, I ordered one square, one round. Um, uh, Dreamer Designs, I ordered one square, one round. So generally, the more expensive companies, I will order two. Um, whereas the cheaper companies... I sit there, what I do with the cheaper companies, I sit there and I think, how much would I be prepared, be prepared to spend if I was ordering from a high-end company? So for me, the fan sales order, even with uh, even the fact I had to pay shipping, I got six paintings for under £40. Um, the other company that I ordered from, can't remember what they were now, but again, I ordered um four because it was 40 pounds so for me around 40 pounds for a first order is is my limit now obviously dreamer designs were a little bit more than that for their two so um i ordered things in the sale to get it as close to that as possible that that's how i work it um but i have just been paid i have already spent an, a stupid amount of money um obviously on storage and diamond paintings so i just need to give it a break for a few weeks but i will put them on my list i'll go and have a wonder i'll go and have a look and then um i'll go from there um the the thing is if you're going to buy from budget company for me i want to just be able to buy a, a cheaper painting and get it delivered what I don't want to have to do is to spend a stupid amount of money. You know, if you've got to spend £100 on budget paintings to get free shipping, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spend that amount of money on a company I've never done before. Because what will happen is what will happen, what happened with the Hua Cam pictures I bought. I ordered one and did one. And before I'd even finished that one, I went to who I can direct through um, AliExpress and I spent £36 I think it was on six canvases I have not done a single one of those six I've ended up giving all of them to my mum and while my mum I'm sure is very appreciative of these free diamond paintings my wallet is not so much because I don't like them I don't like double sided tape if I can avoid it there are exceptions. Obviously, my heaven and earth one is an exception. But I don't want to be spending that amount of money on diamond paintings that I won't then use. Um, fan cells, um, I have bought from before, so I know that their quality is okay. It, their quality is really good, actually, for a budget company. So I, I'm not so hesitant about ordering from them. Although, obviously, I do make sh i do try and ensure that i'm not picking certain images because i know that they're not licensed to them um with the new company i did exactly the same thing um a lot of the images they had were very similar to fan cells but they had some that i hadn't seen before and they're the ones that i went for so um yeah um, if a company is reasonably priced and the, the postage isn't ridiculous and, um, you know, the quality is good, especially if it's poured glue, I do prefer poured glue, then I will give them a go. So I will add them on, Vilica. Thank you for your recommendation. Because um, it would be nice to have some nice pictures from budget companies. I want to be able to offer both when I'm working. Um but I also need to hold to my principles as well. So I'm not going to be buying a Randall Spangler from Fan Cells, you know, or a Mandy Manzano from AliExpress. It's not going to happen because I already know the quality is not going to be there. If I want 
proper artwork I need to pay what I would think are proper prices. Although saying that, the um, new release that I ordered from Diamond Art Club, I did not pay full price for because it was way too much. I used my £50 off and got £50 off it, which makes it very much a bargain because it's about how much you save, isn't it? Of course it is. Absolutely. But thank you for your lovely comments, Vilica. Um... Sarah, she says she's a cleaner at Oxford College. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I, um, I've done cleaning jobs in the past. I used to um, be a cleaner at the uh, city hospital years ago, long time ago. I used to do the training school, which was really interesting. I had an amazing medical library, which was great. Um, I quite like cleaning jobs. They're kind of those things, you always know what you're doing, don't you? You know, there's never any doubt. I'm just going to get the pregnant stick. That one. <laughs> and do this for you. I've only got a few. It's literally a handful. I've, I've tipped out too many for it, but I'm going to do them anyway. Just because it's tucked over here on its own. So I might as well just get them done out of the way. Um... And she also voted on the Mandy Manzano for the square canvas, I think. Let me just double check. Yep, Mandy Manzano for the square. So that's Mackenzie's treasure. So another Mandy Manzano fan, Sarah? Why would you not be? Just something very, very beautiful about the her art and the way. I think it's just, she's one of those artists that really does, um, that, that Diamond Art Club does really, really well. She really is. And um, I just love the way they come out. Um, I mean, really, this is only, what, my second? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's my second. I did um, Wonderland for a present for my son, my son's girlfriend, which she loved, by the way. So we're going to do, I'm not going to do the ones because they're um, ABs. So let's do these pink. It's just the mix of colours in this. It's beautiful. So there you go, Sarah. Thank you for commenting. I've added your vote on. Catherine again just commenting on the um, giraffe video she said thanks for another fun video hope you have a great week um, you're welcome by the way I don't always know that they're fun I think you guys probably find them more fun than I do because um, I'm not trying to be fun <laughs> I'm just just doing my thing pretty much it's just the way I am. Um, but yeah, I've not had a bad week at all. Um, it's just been busy work-wise. And um, I sort of said to my husband last night, because we had a rare night last night where we actually went to bed at the same time. And um, we were just saying, it's just lots of work, lots of extra shifts. And all we seem to be doing at the minute is going to work, coming home and sleeping. Pretty much our life. Okay, so I am going to take a very quick break. It will be a very quick break for you anyway, literally seconds, but only because I'm getting a bit of a dry throat and my coffee is sat on here and it is stone cold. And although I can drink quite cool coffee, freezing cold is not a temperature that I can stomach lightly. I'm just going to get these pink ones in first. Um, I do love the fact that the glue is so strong that it lifts the canvas up when you're doing an edge like this. Which is a bit of a pain if you've got your tray sitting on there because you'll pop drills everywhere. But it's, it amuses me because it just pops. Did I get all of those? I think I did. So we've only actually got two left. So I'll probably only be able to do a couple more comments. But thank you, Catherine, again for commenting. <coughs> I am a... Yeah, it's not been a bad week. 
it's been all right i've had a couple of sets of nails to do and um i did have to um knock together some resin yesterday because i haven't done any resin pours for ages and i've got a couple of orders in so i have got those to box up um the item that i needed to make i've actually done now so i do need to finish them off and box them up but i will be back shortly one second so as i said that was a very quick break for you but a bit of a longer one for me because i need to try and get this video done before um i get ready to go to work for the afternoon which i didn't want to do case of having to um i mean at least it's only the afternoon but it does mean i'm working four days in a row which again doesn't seem like a lot but when you're doing like 12 hour shifts yeah i was looking forward to having more weekend off um i do need to say the weather here is not great today it's pretty overcast i mean it's not cold but it's a bit overcast it's not it's not wonderful so i think we have time for maybe one more comment so next one up is on um the finish for the giraffe um so i did a review and d kit of the giraffe canvas and it is from tracy owen hi tracy um let me just find this color and then i will start beautiful dark pink love it so tracy says hi sam i went and ordered fg normal diamond paintings oh hang on that's the wrong comment i'm so sorry <laughs> i'll come to that one on the next whip and ramble so she said hi sam go girl you have the summer house you deserve it by the way i love using double-sided tape thank you for sharing i'm glad the canvas you will be doing is i miss you well thank you tracy i apologize that i started to read the wrong comment out so watch out for that answer on the next whip and ramble i am also very pleased i'm getting the summer house um it is something i wanted when we first moved here now as i said before um we moved house during lockdown and when we were in the old house we were in our old house for 14 years it wasn't in the best area um it was a masonette so i had um people living above me and they were very very loud um, they weren't always there, you know, but the last couple of years, they absolutely made our lives hell. Um, so when we decided to sell, we were lucky enough that we had gained enough profit in that house to be able to afford to move out of the city and to buy the sort of house that I always wanted. Um, I was a nail technician beauty technician working from home for a good few years before covid and of course um when we went into the first lockdown i was working as a beauty and nail technician and we had to stop um that's how come i ended up getting the job where i am um but the dream had always been to have a summer house or a garden office and have a little salon in the back garden. And that I would then build up so that by the time I was 55, I would be working probably two or three days a week only doing nails and earning enough that I didn't need to work a proper job. That dream hasn't changed. Um, Although I've had to stop doing nails on a mass level, I do intend on going back to it. But I've got a double there, so let's get rid of that one. Um, but um, it will be a lot easier if we've got this lovely little salon in the garden. I won't ever be doing nails full time, I don't think. Um, it is a retirement plan because it's a skill that I paid a lot of money for. Um, but I do like where I am. I do like my reception job. Um, it is part time though, so I can work around it. And that is now the plan. If we get the summer house, not only will I have an area that I can work in, which is separate from the house, but it will also give us an additional room if we have people stay over. Um, because the new one 
is actually bigger than the previous option was and it means that I will have room to put a nice, a nice two-seater futon in and we can then use that as a garden room. So I'm just going to get my ABs. So these are the pink ABs. I have done a section with yellow. They are very pretty. But I am going to change my pen because I think this one is too sticky still. Um, so yes, having the summer house, it was the one thing I wanted when we moved in. Um, my husband um, wanted a log burner, which actually costs more than the summer house does. So I'm really pleased that he's finally said, OK, we'll order it. Um, it's been a long time coming. But it does mean that by next summer, because obviously it's got to be delivered, we're going to have to build it. We need to put electric in it. We need to get some decent um, insulation in there as well. So it will probably be next summer before I'm using it as a salon. But I'm super excited. Super excited. Um, and I'm glad that you love using double-sided tape. It works for me. I just find it less fiddly. Um, I don't know whether it's because I'm a bit older and my eyes aren't great. But I find it. I've got a squeak going on. Don't know what that's from. Um, I find it less fiddly than using glue dots. Um, I do still have glue dots, but I don't see the point of having two different things for the same pen. You know, I might as well just use the double sided tape. It works just as well. So that is um, that section and the first whip and ramble on I Miss You by Mandy Manzano. Colours are stunning. I love them. <coughs> and I tell you what I do love, what I love about Diamond Art Club's rounds is that because you have that colour blocked in at the back, it's really difficult to tell from a distance the difference between a round and a square drill because they cover so beautifully. Um, I have seen that they have made the guide circles on rounds a lot, lot lighter. Um, they're not doing the white background so much, which is great because um, that makes place in the diamonds. It means if you're slightly off, you won't struggle as much. So um, I'm really pleased with that. So thank you, Tracy, for your comment. Um, I'm glad that you, you're loving the fact I'm doing this canvas. I am too. I will never shy away from doing a Mandy Manzano because they're just beautiful. They really are. Thank you, as always, for your comment. I've given you a like and a love. That does leave the rest of the comments for the next Whip and Ramble, I'm afraid, because I am now finished and out of time. But I'm sure you will agree that this is a beautiful, beautiful canvas. Um, please do, if you haven't already seen the... Um, vote for the square canvas please do go and have a vote like i said ideally two votes maybe per picture but um i'll leave it up to you guys they will be counted um i'm interested to see what will come out and um that's it from me i think for today so thank you for watching because as you know watching liking and subscribing is the easiest way for you to help support my channel. Um, I will try my hardest to get some more co cook pots made, especially in this form. I love the fact we use trash drills to make those. So um, what I am also doing, I'm only going to be doing the diamond shape and the round. I'm having problems with the little square pot with the lids tightening upon them so I'm probably going to take that version out but I will get some more maiden up very very soon it is as always um, a great pleasure to do these videos for you and it is over and out from this kitten up kitten bye for now